Hi folks, it's Muzz here and on the workbench I've received it this morning, I have the new starter set from FX. It's the 143rd scale Land Rover Series 1 pickup. So I've mentioned before, if you've watched my channel, you've known that I've said that Airfix lack a uh, Land Rover in their range. Now, I know you say, but they've released a 143rd scale before mods, but they have. Yeah, I agree. But it was a hell of tooling. And also the 172nd scale Land Rovers that they had weren't their tools originally they bought the tools in from a company called jb models and they were releasing them occasionally i expect to see them in the vintage classic range in the future i think you know putting it out there fix but yeah they did have uh, a land rover in 172nd scale that came with the bloodhound missile that's due out also this year they have had a 148 land rover though this one here from the operation herrick afghanistan and they only ever released this once or maybe twice and but it was a land rover patrol vehicle so i think it'll be a bit difficult to justify releasing that as a standalone product because as i said it, it's more military but they finally now have um a brand new tooling of this so i called it last year that they'll probably release either a land rover or a beetle so you know you heard it here first <laughs> but yeah i'll be looking forward to this uh, along with the bomb bug they had so many different um announcements to make in january uh and uh to finally get this in my hands is brilliant designed by ethan who also designed the scout the ferret scout that's come out this week as well and but i'll do an unboxing of that one separately so with the starter kits, remember you get in a in a box you get poly cement, paintbrush, um, four acrylic paints, and uh, you also get the plastic kit as well, which has been designed for simplicity because the idea is is for the noobs or for the beginners or somebody who's never built a scale model before, or maybe somebody who's lost their mojo. I think they're really good mojo builds. I think you know if you've lost your mojo, build yourself a starter set there's the box art there i think it's 2b again legendary it's a 143 there's the code for it there if you want the code it's a55012 and i'll leave a link in description box below and in the comments where you can buy this kit <sighs> right top of the box it's got a bit of information about the history of the land rover and there's a picture of it there is i think that might be actual size but it's 39 pieces in this one and if you can see there's a, there's a mistake on the box already um it says length 102 millimeters and the width is three millimeters well it won't be it'd be probably be about 30 maybe 30 was it 40 i don't know we'll have a look anyway um at the sizes so yeah so 38 there you go there's it there so length 102 and width is 38 millimeters 39 pieces so there you go right uh look at the back of the box there we go there it is there's the call out for it so these are the paints that you need you're going to get in the box number 11 33 which is like a matte black 96 and 196 you see there's different shades and tonal there so you you paint this bit one 196 and you do all the edges with 11 it looks like so pretty much and underneath you've got this 96 is like some sort of purpley haze but you know sometimes the colors can be a bit wrong edge of the box you've got um the it's like uh, the box art and again telling you exactly what's in the box bottom you have warnings in different lingo and it's a uh, cartograph decals in this and it has got the land rover official seal of approval because they have the license agreement there okay and there you go there's the barcode and also the code again a55012 I think that's it really. Also, you do get your yeah, one flying hour and it's skill level one. And I think it's time to get into the box. But before we look inside the box to see what we get, can I ask a personal favor? If you're not a subscriber to this channel, would you please consider subscribing? It's totally free to be a subscriber. And to do that, just click subscribe below and then ring the bell select all and you'll be notified when i release a new video and any comments any likes and your subscription really does help this channel grow anyways let's get inside the box inside the box you get a bag full of plastic which is your kit you get a little bag with some poly cement and four paint uh, four paints humble they are better I promise you 
I was told that they completely got rid of all the old stock and these are brand new, freshly, freshly designed tubs of paint. So they shouldn't be dry. You get yourself your paintbrush, obviously, for that. And you're gonna get some instructions. So there's the instruction, put them to one side. You also get your before you, you start sheet and it's not changed in the last three years. I think they first brought them out with the Spitfire and the tanks. Um, just basically giving you tools that may help you build the model on the top there. And then some little guides here telling you drill the holes when you need to, look for the frame letter and the part number. Um, the only thing I don't like on this, it was two things is I don't like that they use that symbol there, glue, because you think you're going to have to use the tub to put the glue on. Always put the glue, or the cement, I should say, onto a separate bit of card and then apply it using a cocktail stick. That's the best way of doing it. Um, and also, it says stir the paint properly, but you really need to um, add water to this paint and thin them down. And also, if you thin the paints down, they will go a lot further. You can get, make them stretch. But yeah, some information there on that. So a little bit of an improvement on that will be good FX. But to be fair, this before you start guide is really handy to get you into scale modeling. So up to the decals now. And there you have, uh, I'm not too sure what that is, but that's definitely a speedometer. And that must be the fuel gauge. You got some Land Rover symbols there that go on the front and back. Uh, you only have one choice of Number plate, okay, we've got one choice of number plate there, um, which is uh, RYD463. So if your name's Rob Yam Dam, you're gonna love this one, especially if you're born on the <laughs> in the fourth month of 63. <laughs> so yeah, so just one choice there of number plate. Now let's get inside here. See what I'm looking forward to, is looking inside the bag and let's see what the sprues have to show. So there's your, your, your glass bag, I'm gonna put that to one side and we've got two sprues. Um, Airfix have gone this way, I'm, I'm assuming it's to save on plastic because I feel that if they had like an outer rim, it will keep it all together. Already one piece has come off, um, off the sprue and I can't, so it's come off here. So A2 that's come off. But yeah, there you go, there's, there's the sprue itself. So you've got, um, you've got your chassis there. There you go, there's your chassis. It looks it's really detailed, actually. There's uh, your engine and your gearbox. There you go. Um, that's quite nice, actually. Look at the detail underneath. Fantastic. Really good detail. So there's your seats there. You can see your seats there. And there's your central console there. But I presume that's seats there. Maybe you won't. Some have fallen off. Another piece has fallen off. That's part of the axle. So two, two half axle there. So one piece has dropped off there as well. Your front there, which is, you've got your little, uh, your dashboard there on the front and your front windows. You've got some leaf springs and there's the side. Look at the detail on that for a starter set. Absolutely fantastic. So there's the other half of the diff. I think that goes on there, I guess. And that's your diff sorted. This is absolutely fantastic. The detail is absolutely brilliant. There's your steering wheel just hanging on by dear life there, just about. I think that must be some sort of um, wheel arch there. But yeah, that's looking pretty good for frame A. Then onto frame B and you've got more leaf springs, uh, more diffs there. Uh, and then you've got these two, two half wheels. So they probably stick together and then you can paint on the outside. It's not so as simple as before where you would put a middle section in. Or is it, oh, is that, that, let's have a look at these, sorry. Yeah, there's still two halves. You've got some wheels there, which you've got some detail on. Uh, there's your Morley spring again. There's your, your roof. There's your bonnet, which you put a wheel on, which I assume is that one there. That's probably the one for the bonnet there. So you glue them together and there's your front grill there. Fantastic. It's looking pretty good. And there's some more detail there beside. So basically build up like a box, really. Really impressed by that, looks really cool. Now onto the glass, and the glass doesn't look too bad to be honest. There's no scratches this time for me, so I've got a clear one. And you've got the uh, wiper blades molded into the glass. So there's your, your front um, beams as well, your front lights there. So yeah, quite a bit of detail there. And there's your back windows. So you've got your back, because there's going to be a pickup. 
I wonder if they'll bring out a version that's uh, got a canvas on the back. That'd be pretty cool as well. So that'd be excellent. So then moving on to instructions, you've got a bit of information there about the Land Rover, which I presume is on top of the box anyway. And let's have a look. Now these starter set instructions are the best that, that any scale model any scale model company's done. I'm serious, I'm not joking here. You get two sprue trees telling you where the parts are, and they've actually numbered these. Instead of just being one on frame A, one, two, three, four, five, they actually say A1, A2, A3, all the way up to A31, it looks like. Then you have frame B, which is also uh, B8, B17, B13. So I'm assuming that the numbers are in order. So you won't get like a B30, you'll only you get an A30 and then you get a B29, if you see what I mean. You don't get a B30 or, a, or an A29. You, so that's basically, yeah, that's how it works. And then you've got your, your clear there, which is under C. So that's simple. And there's your call out for the decals. And then there's a bit of help there just saying that when you see these little lugs on the side, you, you cut them off, okay? So then just sand them up nice and uh, nice and smooth. So looks like here, let's put it together then. So looks like you've got the rear bulkhead there, put the seats on in the windows. And then you start on by gluing that section in onto the back there, onto the, uh, onto the bed. Moving on, there's the front piece there, which is the bottom half of the seat. And there's your centre column. Number four, then you start putting the glass in front there onto the grill. So you've got the, the front bonnet of the of the Land Rover. And that also then looks like you get a piece there that you stick on underneath the bonnet. And that all sticks together just using where the, you know, the yellow mark is where the glue is. Again, you, you're grabbing the, uh, the front of the vehicle there. So you've got like the front windscreen and there's the, the decals there to put into the central column and then your steering wheel. And also, by the way, it's telling you what colors to paint it because the brush color is there. So 96, it's got like a purple tinge. If you see that, so if you see that there, it's got like a purple tinge on the brush on the hairy stick. Then, so you put in the bonnet to the front then to, uh, to of the Land Rover, then that all sits in uh, on the front of the, of the chassis. Then you put the glass in, into the side of the vehicle and do the same on the other side, then put them together. It just shows you there where you want to put the glue, stick that together, and then that's basically the, 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 the bulk of it all built. Then you put in on the, the roof there, and then you put in the tailgate on the back. And then you start, which is interesting, putting some of the, and you paint this by the way, it looks like. Uh, oh no, is that just telling you where to paint the chassis, is it? No, I'll tell you to paint the chassis, isn't it? And you add in a small piece there, which is, I think, is part of the suspension on the back. Again, you put on the front, you've got your, your your front springs going on, your leaf springs, tell you where to glue them into. Was that rear? No, rear springs, sorry, they're rear. So the way it's over here, it looks like going on the front, but it's actually follow, follow, follow the line, it'll tell you where to put them to. Then you've got your front springs going on here, that's fine. So the rear springs and the front springs. Then you've got your two diffs putting together, one on the front, one on the back, and then you join it in the middle, simples. Then you're adding, I think they're called guardrails or like um, transmission guards underneath. Then you're putting the wheels together, sticking them on, put the one on the bonnet, and then you put the decal of the Land Rover symbol there. And then you've got, and the number plate on the front and do the same on the back. And that's it, that's the instructions done. Impressive, I'm really loving that. Honestly, I'm, I've got I've got a I've got a bit of a, a movement in my loins. I'm wanting to build this tonight, but uh, I may even have a crack at starting it tonight. Actually, just start getting it all together, and let's see how we get on. Just making sure that all the little bits go in because the bits have. That's one of the things is that sometimes the bits come off the sprue, and it's a little bit unfortunate, but it does happen. But they have gone for like this uh, minimalistic sprue, if you know what I mean. They haven't got like the long edge around the side, so which would normally help it, keep it a bit more stable, I guess. But anyway, they've chosen that. Who am I to argue? There must be a reason why. And that's basically it for me. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this starter set. Have you ordered one? If you haven't, there's a link below where you can buy one too. And uh, is it something that you're going to have a crack at building? Are you going to use this scheme? Or are you going to make it into a different scheme? You don't have to use this scheme. If you want to go by the colours in the pots, then so be it. You have to use this scheme. But if you've got your own paints, 
when you come up with something a little bit more creative. And that's it from me anyway. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Ring that bell. Click all and you'll be notified when I release a new video. If you'd like to become a channel member, just click join below and it helps the channel out financially. Like these folks here on the screen have done. Select the tier that you so wish and you will get extra privileges for being a channel member. If you'd like to see my previous video, click here. If you'd like to see a playlist of all my unboxings, click here.